Today, we're going to be Coast Guard, and we have to rescue people. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and teleport on top of our Coast Guard ship here. Let's go inside. So we have a whole bunch of instruments in here. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. We actually have an ongoing fire currently on an oil rig, so we need to go ahead and get that fire put out immediately. Uh, let's go ahead and do starter and then disable clutch. There we go. This thing moves. This is a fast rescue boat. It is very fast, as you can tell. Let's go ahead on our map here. This is where the fire is at. There's a fire on an oil rig, so it's, it can't be too good but yeah let's go ahead and continue going over there the throttle is to the floor right now let's go ahead and activate some rescue lights nav lights rescue lights okay so yep our rescue lights are blinking we are indeed going to this oil site it is 11 kilometers away so it is quite a bit away so we need to just continue on course there hopefully nothing bad happens to us this thing capsizes i'm pretty sure it flips back over it's just such a good little boat like that we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a tour of the ship so we have some seating here a medical bed with a lot of scuba equipment, firefighting, thermal clothing, all that fun stuff. And down here, we actually have some more equipment, of course. Then we have a maintenance hatch in here with some welder stuff. Back here, we have a kitchen area with a, another bed. This is the bed to sleep in, I'm pretty sure, as the captain. Then in here, we have a bathroom. So pretty nice detailed bathroom with actual toilet paper and a shower. And then we go a little bit below that. We have an engine room door. So in here is two of our engines, um, pretty large size engines, three by three cylinders. And we have kill switches and a whole bunch of dials in here that say displays on the engine. And then these lights automatically turn on when we are in here. But yeah, that's basically the ship. Let's go ahead and grab a radio. So we have some communications with the people on the oil rig. Let's maybe, um, do we have an autopilot on this thing? That'd be cool. Oh, I think we do. We have an autopilot. All right, let's test if this works. Okay, autopilot is on. Okay, it is slowly bringing us towards the waypoint. We do have some small waves right now, but that is perfectly fine. This boat can honestly handle a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go outside on the boat here, see if there's anything interesting out here, which there is. So we have some more ropes and rescue equipment with some dinghies here that they can float. Um, there is a uh, helicopter behind us. That is, what kind of helicopter is that? Okay, I think that's like the type of helicopter that um has those like cargo containers under and it holds those. Those are pretty cool. That'd be kind of a fun video to do one of those transports with those. But yeah, back here a little bit more. We have to be extra careful right here. Uh, we have a wench right here. So we have an up and down wench. And then this is the wench right here. You can probably barely see it. There we go. Some light on it. But yeah, some ropes and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the boat automatically turns off if you fall off the boat. Like this boat is just very well made. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back on the boat here and start this thing back up because it does put the throttle all the way down, which is honestly awesome. It has very good safety measures. But yeah, we are halfway there. So let's continue going to the fire on the oil rig. Uh, I wonder if we can see it from here. I kind of like see some oil rig stuff. Okay, the fire is on that island supposedly. So I don't see any major fire right now. So it must not be too too bad yet but we just need to get over there um let's go ahead and test some of our fire stuff here i honestly don't know how to use this fire suppression stuff so i think we have a hose here and then we can do that fire pump and then we click b to activate the hose and this thing shoots far okay yeah this will definitely work and it'll it'll shoot better when we're not driving because just shooting moving water in, in a moving boat probably doesn't add up too well so yeah this is neotastic speaking we are arriving on scene um i can see a little bit of flame going on there that might just be some methane gas being lit up on fire but yeah we're just continuing over there we will be arriving there shortly i don't see any serious issues i do see a person actually waving over there okay that's definitely serious so we need to go ahead and get this thing parked on this small little dock here all right we're going in the dock here okay we just got more notifications here from dispatch saying there's a lot more issues going on we have to deal with this one first unfortunately so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that um it's a there's a decent sized fire up there so we need to go ahead and get some fire extinguishers i think we could honestly put them out with that or we got off the boat we just need to run up this little incline here i do hear some sirens going off i don't know those might just be some test alerts uh, can you guys open the gate please i need to get through here thank you major fire over here on some propane tanks it looks to be this is not good. This could not end well, to be honest. So we need to put this out immediately. We are saving the day here at this oil rig. Um, I don't know if this fire extinguisher is powerful enough. It put out that little fire there. It looks like it is working, actually. So this is doing quite well. I really like this fire extinguisher. Putting out the last bit of the fire here. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Um, is a fire out? Nope, there's still a little bit of it left. Continue to put it out. Fire has been extinguished. We got awarded $3,000. Okay, that is an award. Thank you guys for calling me out here. Um, If you ever need anything again, just let me know. Okay, so now we have another mission to go to. We need to get there as fast as we can. We're going to do some dangerous stuff here. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, that was maybe a little bit too dangerous, but we need to slam this thing in reverse and get out of here. We have a uh, boat with their transponder on. All right, reverse is active. Full throttle in reverse. We need to get out of here. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, this is full throttle in reverse. Oh, this is going to take like 12 years. All right, we reverse out of the bay. Put it in drive. Here we go. Okay, we need to be careful. We don't want to hit that. That would be absolutely terrible. But yeah, we have something 31 kilometers away from here in the other direction that we came from. And it is a, let's see here, we have an extreme weather warning actually in the area, so that might be an issue. But over here, we actually have a cruiser boat has gone missing. They have their transponder on, so we should, I wonder if this thing has any transponding finding equipment. That'd be pretty awesome, but I honestly have no idea. I've never tested that part of this boat, but yeah, I'll see you guys when we are there. All right, I think I have eyes on the boat right in front of us. That might be it. I don't know. That's like the only boat I see out here, actually. Um, it's in this area, so it should be just somewhere around here. Okay, we're just going to drive up to this boat right here, make sure they're all doing okay. I don't know if it's them. I don't think we even have a transponder locator on this thing, actually. So we're going to start slowing down here. Let's see if it's them. I don't know. Oh, wait, I think that's it right there in front of us. You see that? That has to be it. Yes, cruiser. Okay, that is definitely, that's like a crab boat. So that's definitely not them. Uh, we have a, some people over here. I don't know, they're moving though. They're like driving. I don't see anything. I don't know. You think if they like stop driving, their transponder would be on because they could just drive back to shore like this. I don't know why they need help, I guess. But and we still have that extreme weather warning. The weather stations are detecting an incoming impact event okay that is a little scary just reading that um i don't think anything should happen honestly but we'll see here this might be it i have no idea so let's go ahead and stop these people we need to pull them over and see what's going on here hello is it you guys that need help okay they stopped their boat they're actually like listening to me oh oh gosh okay we got a runner we got a runner i don't know what they're doing we do have a runner but over okay okay i need to stop doing this i'm coast guard i forgot yeah um well i don't think that's them clearly because they don't look like they need help i have no idea what's going on here yeah but the water is like super shallow here you can like see our shadow actually in the water so if they did sink i feel like i would see lights in the water at least i don't know it also depends if their battery's still working but this is just I'm not looking too good here. I don't see anything. We should definitely be seeing something right now. Okay, we have another boat in front of us here. That might be them, actually. I don't see any other boats around here. Um, let's see. I do see two people. I think that is on board that boat. Yeah, they're waving their arms. That is definitely them. Let's go. Oh, there's a major fire on their boat. Okay, yeah, we need to put it in overdrive. We need to get over there as soon as possible. Oh, they just shot a flare in the air. Okay, yep. I'm here, guys. Coast Guard is here. We are about to rescue you. Do not worry, I am here. Uh, you guys need to get away from the fire. Just please do not get in the way of that fire. That thing will destroy you guys, okay? Water pressure with this hose might really mess up some of their skin, so I don't know, we have to be careful here. Let's drop that, and then we need to do this. Put the fire hose, fire hose is on, and put on the fire. Oh shoot, we're not far enough. Wait, I think we are here. We just need to aim it up a little more. Um. There we go. It's on the boat. It's on the boat. Okay. Fire is kind of being extinguished. Okay. That's not working as well as I thought it would. We just need to get close to their boat, put out the fire immediately. Um, this is a major issue. There's people overboard. Is that a shark? There are sharks in the water right here. Okay. Yeah. We definitely have a serious issue going on here. Uh, do you got, do not go in the water. Do not step a single foot in the water. We have sharks. Oh, there's someone in the water. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we need to rescue him right now. Okay. I'm jumping on the boat. Okay. Get on the boat, sir. Oh, okay. That dude needs to be rescued. He's in the water. I don't know why he's in the water. Sir, you need to get on the boat. Get on the boat. This is a emergency, okay? Is there anyone else on the boat that do I do not know about? Okay, we should have grabbed a fire extinguisher here. Let's grab my fire extinguisher. Jump back on the boat. Is there anyone down here? Is there anyone down here? I don't see anyone down here. Okay, that's. I don't know why they'd be down there if their boat's on fire. But yeah, all right. Put out the fire right now. Go, go, go. Put out the fire. Ma'am, I'll save you in a second. Or that's a sir. That's a complete dude. Okay, I just called you, ma'am. I'm so sorry. We just need to put out this fire. Okay, I'm on the fire. My legs are burning. Okay, fire is being extinguished. Okay, that's perfect. Sir, I'm gonna need to grab you. You need to get on my boat immediately. Place you down on my boat here. Okay, I think we only have four people. So occupy times four dispatch. We have four people. We need immediate hospital ship to our area to check up on these people. From what I can see, they all have full health, but yes, I just need extra backup. Uh, we're gonna clear the ship right now, make sure there's no one down there. I don't know how to actually get down there. 
Uh, maybe through here. Uh, yeah, so down here we have a lower deck. Ooh, this is actually a pretty nice boat, to be honest. But yeah, I don't see anyone down here. It's looking all clear. They do have major damage. This thing might start filling up with water here any second. So yeah, it's just some interesting stuff. Thanks for shooting the flare, guys. I totally didn't see you guys earlier. Um, I'm going to bring all you guys inside here. Do not step in the water. There are sharks, if you haven't noticed. They probably noticed that already. Okay, be careful. Oh my gosh, I do not trust these people. All right, I'm going to set you there. You guys can sit in our seating area right here. Set all you guys there. Okay, you guys can all talk to each other and just calm down. Okay, just stay calm. I'm going to check up on each and every one of you at a time. We actually need to get out of here first, just in case that fire starts again. We don't want to get... All right, so are you feeling any pain anywhere? Uh, do you need any type of further assistance is that a girl or i don't know uh, i think they're fine okay this dude right here i cannot grab him because she's in the way okay sir are you okay um your pants match my bed color that's pretty cool um displays are looking good i literally cannot see anything okay this is a little interesting yeah all these people are full health we just need to like verify that they're okay and talk to them so yeah i think they're all doing okay let's see if he needs any first aid okay he didn't use anything that's perfect and then last person here are you okay yep they're all doing fine he has an eye patch is that normally there sir is did something happen to your eye okay perfect okay everything's looking good if you guys want your lights on right here you guys can turn on some lights um what should we do about your guys boat honestly i have no idea i don't know if i haven't really planned for this type of situation but maybe if we did like multiplayer search and rescues we could have like a boat come out it'd be a whole mission we have a helicopter a boat it'd be so fun if we did this multiplayer but yeah i've also thought of actually building a search and rescue boat and recording it so let me know if that is something you guys would be interested in because i do kind of know how to build in this game i know how to do modular engines and stuff like that but let me know if you'd like to see me build a search and rescue boat that'd be quite interesting but yeah that's probably gonna be it for this video let me know if you'd like to see some more of this search and rescue stuff multiplayer or not or career this game does have a career if you did not know make sure to join this the discord link is in the description same with some more stormworks videos like this also in the description make sure you like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye